On today's show, we are breaking down five moves that the New England Patriots should make to try to salvage this one and four start to the 2023 season. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us here on Patriots Today by Chad Sports. We're going to examine everything from the practice squad to potential trades, free agent signings. We'll go over all of them in just a matter of moments. Before we do, the race is on. The 6,000 subscribers here between Patriots Today and Commander's Report. It's been back and forth all week. The commies in the lead now. Can't let it happen. Can we get there first for more Patriots news, rumors, watch parties, live shows, analysis, and more? This is the channel for you. Let's stick it to the commies and get there first. Subscribe now for free, and we'll continue here on today's show. Step one for the Patriots is making a trade for a wide receiver. Today, we focus our attention on Jerry Judy. You may be asking, why Jerry Judy of the potential wide receiver options out there? And the reason why we focused in on Jerry Judy is that he's the most likely of the potential wide receivers on the trade block to get moved uh, across the National Football League at this point. With as bad as the Denver Broncos are, with Jerry Judy having an expiring contract coming up, I think this is the most likely scenario, the easiest receiver basically to make a move and have a significant impact. And also a move that would come at an inexpensive price, relatively speaking, uh, compared to some of the other guys that you could be trading for. Remember when we talked about Devontae Adams the other day? That one was going to be a lot for the Patriots to do. This one is a little easier, and it's uh, a player that's just really starting to enter his prime in Judy. Judy, a 2020 first-round pick out of Alabama, coming off the best season of his career in 2022, despite the question marks at the quarterback position with Russell Wilson and how inconsistent the uh, offense was in Denver. Uh, he still had a very good year last year, and uh, he's played in 45 career games with 36 starts, uh, so he's been relatively healthy for the most part in his career. So far this season, what we've seen from Jerry Judy is 17 catches for 208 yards and just over 12 yards a reception. So Jerry Judy just really starting to get started to his 2023 season at this point. You compare that to the receivers around the National Football League. Remember, the sample size there for Judy, that was in two games played. Comparably speaking, his numbers through two games are better than almost every receiver on the Patriots roster at this point in the season. Kendrick Bourne's your leading receiver, who's played in every game himself with 218 yards and two touchdowns. Hunter Henry behind that with 176 yards and two touchdowns, Jerry Judy would immediately come in and without question be your number one wide receiver on this Patriots team. So personally, I like the idea of trading for Jerry Judy. What do you guys think? Way in that comment section, let us know. T for trade, P for pass. Would you make the trade for Judy or not? Our pin comment today, weigh in. Tell us what you think. Now we shift our focus to the offensive line, and I got a couple of offensive line options for the Patriots, it is the biggest weakness when you talk about this New England Patriots team right now. And there is a top-level talent that is just sitting there waiting for his number to get called, and that is Lyle Collins. If Collins is fully healthy, and that's a big question mark at this point, if he actually is or not, this could be a dramatic improvement for the Patriots' offensive line if they can bring Collins into the fold here he would be entering about his seventh or eighth season in the NFL. A lot of experience, not too old just yet, and still playing at a high level. And if you look at the depth chart for the Patriots right now, we know that the story, the theme of sorts has been the tackles, but you can see there's been injuries recently to the guard spots. I mean, they need help wherever they can get on this offensive line, and you can't pass on the opportunity to get a player of Collins' caliber if he's still there. Uh, previously played for the Bengals and the Cowboys. 89 career games played with 86 starts. And as recently as 2022, Pro Football Focus rated him as the 13th best uh, offensive tackle there in the entire National Football League. His numbers were down in 2022 with the Cincinnati Bengals as uh, he had 
uh, an overall grade of 57.9. You can see the pass blocking was not great for Lowell Collins, 44.2. Run block grade of 73.5. But you don't have to go that far to find when Lowell Collins was playing at a very high level. Back in 2021, had an overall grade of 82, run block grade near 90, and a pass block grade of 76.2. So if Lel Collins can be similar to what he was in 2021, watch out. The uh, Patriots might just find a diamond in the rut potentially with a Lel Collins there. Should the Patriots sign Lel Collins? What do you think? Why for yes, in for no. Tell us uh, what do you think if the Patriots should bring him in or not. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. I got to tell you, I really love Game Time. Game Time has been a terrific partner for us here at Chat Sports, and it is the place to go when you are looking for tickets, whether it's to sporting events, concerts, comedy shows, theater productions, and more. Game Time is going to offer you the best seats for the lowest prices guaranteed. And here's how it works, folks. You download the Game Time app. You pick out the event you want to go to, and you see the prices all listed. After that, you figure out the seat that you want to sit in, and you can get an aerial view of what that seat is going to look like. That way you can figure out if that's the seat you want. From there, you check out, and you can pay with Apple Pay or Google Pay and have your tickets just like that within a matter of moments. I used... Game time just a couple weeks ago myself to get tickets to go see my kids as Jayhawks play Texas. Didn't get the result we wanted, but had a great time and saved money thanks to game time, and you can too. What we're offering is $20 off on game time when you use the promo code NFLCHAT. That's $20 off with promo code NFLCHAT. Download it today. Create an account. Terms and conditions do apply for the lowest prices guaranteed with the best seats. Download game time now. This, I would say, would be the most likely move that the Patriots and Bill Belichick will make of the five things we're talking about today, and that would be a reunion with Logan Ryan, bringing him back to the New England Patriots. And Logan Ryan, the situation that the Patriots are in, this would help alleviate some stress in the secondary right now. We all know about Christian Gonzalez going down, and within days the Patriots made a move to bring back J.C. Jackson, although J.C. Jackson wasn't performing that well with the Los Angeles Chargers as of late. He was a healthy scratch from uh, their games. And a veteran like this would be a guy that fits into the Patriots' culture, the Patriots' way, right, as we uh, talk about all the time here. And although we wonder how much Logan Ryan may have left in the tank, you can't argue with what the resume is is for Logan Ryan, a two-time Super Bowl champion. He's not only just played with the Patriots, but also with the Titans, the Giants, and most recently with the Buccaneers. And last year, we saw him get some significant playing time in Tampa Bay with nine games played and six starts with that Bucs team in 2022. The statistics of what we've seen recently from Logan Ryan, last year in nine games played, had one pick, three pass breakups, 37 tackles. The year prior in 15 games played, 117 tackles, two tackles for loss, and eight pass breakups there. Watch out. We'll see if Logan Ryan gets a call. Another name to potentially sign is Gabe Jackson, the former member of the Seattle Seahawks and the Las Vegas Raiders. He appears to be one of the top offensive guards on the market right now. We showed you earlier the depth chart that the Patriots are dealing with some issues when it comes to those guards and trying to find any solution that they can. And Gabe Jackson, at this point, is about as good as you are going to find if you need that help on the O-line. A lot of experience that he brings to the table. 131 career games played with 130 starts. His grades were not earth-shattering by any means. The last time we saw him on the football field last year for the Seahawks with an overall grade of 55, a run block grade of 53.8, and a pass block grade of 51.1, but he's basically as good as you're going to get at this point in time. With how desperate the Patriots are, there's room for Gabe Jackson. Uh, If he wants to be a member of the New England Patriots, they can make it happen. One more to get to in a moment, but first, 
Name a move that you would like to see the Patriots make right now, whether it's a trade, a free agent signing, maybe you want somebody activated from the practice squad to the 53-man roster, whatever it is, chat me in that comment section. Tell me what you would like to see the Patriots do right now. Last on our list is activating Malik Cunningham. Earlier this week, Bill Belichick, when speaking to the media, called Malik Cunningham the most improved player on the Patriots practice squad. And we heard Belichick say that most of the snaps that he's been receiving on the practice squad has been at the receiver position, but they really like his versatility. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I know exactly what Cunningham's role would necessarily be with this Patriots team if he were to be elevated to the 53-man roster, whether it's as a backup quarterback or backup receiver or a wildcat package. But what I do know is this New England Patriots team needs a spark of some sorts right now on offense. We have seen this offense just look horrific the last couple of weeks. And I know people are going to blame Mac Jones and look at the offensive line, but looking internally, what can you do to provide some juice, some electricity? Cunningham might be able to get that going of some sorts, to get that spark New England is looking for with the explosiveness he can bring to the table as the athlete he is and the runner, arguably the fastest player on this Patriots team. He was considered one of the breakout performers of the preseason uh, and throughout training camp. Played quarterback in college, mostly taking those wide receiver reps uh, on the practice squad. But watch out. We'll see if Cunningham gets his shot at the uh, 53-man roster sometime soon. So, five moves to make for the Patriots to recap. Number one, trade for Jerry Judy. Two, sign Leo Collins. Three, sign Logan Ryan. Four, sign Gabe Jackson. And number five, Activate Malik Cunningham from the practice squad to the 53-man roster. Appreciate you joining us here on this edition of Patriots Today by Chat Sports. Subscribe now. Let's get to 6,000 subs today. Pats fans, make it happen, and we'll see you next time right here on the channel.